Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a magnetic excursion update Saturday, August 16th, around 7 p.m. Mountain Time, 2025. The big story is Hurricane Aaron, now a Cat 5 uh, hurricane, one of the fastest intensifying storms in Atlantic history. So buckle up. We got a lot to talk about and keep calm. It's boom time. Hurricane Aaron strengthens to a Cat 5. Like we said, it's one of the fastest, rapidly intensifying storms in Atlantic hurricane history. Aaron went from a Cat 1 hurricane with 75 mile per hour winds 11 a.m. Friday to a Cat 5 with near 160 mile per hour winds in just over 24 hours. And Aaron is still cranking out those Cat 5 winds. Once you get above 157, you're Cat 5, and the maximum sustained winds are now 160. So just hovering in that low level, Cat 5, catastrophic. The good news is that the spaghetti models are not showing it really affecting land at all, not even Bermuda. So hopefully these stay true. Now what we're going to have is some severe rip currents and dangerous currents on the East Coast, up into uh, eastern Canada here, as well as the Caribbean. So let's take a look at the key message for Hurricane Aaron, shall we? Heavy rainfall at times through Sunday across the northern Leeward Islands, the Virgin Islands, and Puerto Rico may lead to locally considerable flash and urban flooding, along with landslides or mudslides. Tropical storm conditions are possible in the Turks and Caicos during the next 48 hours, where a tropical storm watch is now in effect. Gusts to tropical storm force in Aaron's outer rain bands are likely in portions of the northern Leeward Islands through tonight and over portions of the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico through Sunday. Tropical storm force wind gusts are possible in southeast Bahamas beginning on Sunday. Aaron is expected to produce life-threatening surf and rip currents along the beaches of the Bahamas, much of the east coast of the U.S., and Atlantic Canada next week. So don't fool around and don't drown. Interest in Bermuda should continue to monitor the progress of Aaron since there is a risk of strong winds, heavy rainfall, and high surf by the middle part of next week. And a quick look over at TornadoHQ.com, live severe weather map showing some spattering of storms uh, through the central plains there and up into the Great Lakes. We've got five severe weather warnings, three severe thunderstorm warnings, one in Illinois, one in Tennessee, one in Georgia. So check out... Uh, TornadoHQ.com for live severe weather warnings. And now the full forecast. Aaron strengthens to a major Cat 5 hurricane. Heavy rainfall possible in Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands. The upper Midwest and South Texas. The nexus of the Schmexis. Hurricane Aaron may bring isolated flash and urban flooding. Landslides or mudslides possible. Tropical storm conditions in Puerto Rico, the U.S. Virgin Islands this weekend. Scattered thunderstorms and heavy rain may bring areas of flooding this weekend over the upper Midwest. A tropical disturbance will bring locally heavy rain and mainly urban flash flooding to far southern Texas. And we also have some good news there. We've got some rain coming into the picture here for the Four Corners region, which is going to help put out the myriad of fires. Now, yesterday we had another hurricane backing up Erin right after she passed, and there it is. That one is still on the map, and that's going to be, in this model, affecting Cuba and Florida and maybe up into the Gulf Coast. But that one is way out, and we have to worry about Aaron for now. Uh, and let's take a look at that total accumulated precipitation, see if there's any good news for the fire conditions out here. So starting August 21st through the end of the month, very good amount of precipitation showing up here that may help put out the Grand Canyon fires and, well, a dozens of fires that are out here in the West. So cross your fingers and pray to the rain gods. And if you think it's hot outside and it's global this and global blah, 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 and global boiling, well, take a look at this map. You're looking at the highest temperature records and when they were set in the United States. If it is dark red or maroon, that high temperature record, all-time high for the state, was set before 1930. If it's in red, it was set in the 1930s. And the gray states are newer, more recent record highs. So if you think we're burning up, well, back in the 30s and before that, we were burning up even more. 
Seismic update. We got a rare rumbler here in eastern Australia, a 4.9 in buoy. I'm sure that rattled some nerves. We've got aftershocks continuing in the Kamchatka, which is rumbling those volcanoes and keeping them quite active. Overall, low-level activity worldwide, including the U.S. And that brings us to worldwide volcano news for the day, 16th of August. Sungay, first on the list to 19,000 feet. Poas on the list as well. Liwotolo, 7,000-foot puff there. Samaru puffing and passing as well as volcanic ash ongoing at Santa Guito. Kluchiskyoi, that is one of the Kamchatka volcanoes that has been excited after the 8.8 .8 mag, still puffing to 32,000 feet. Ibu to 7,000 feet, Santa Guito to 14,000 feet, Popo to 19,000, Ducono to 6,000, sporadic ash at Raventador, Sungay to 20,000 feet today. Semadu, who knew? Now you do. An eruption was reported. Kluchiskyoi to 32,000 there. Ibu as well. And wrapping up the list is Santa Guito with possible volcanic ash there. Bringing us to space weather and a large coronal hole transequatorial that will be coupling with us in 24 to 36 hours. Could bring KP up to G1 geomagnetic storm. We'll just wait and see. So far they just have it slightly elevated. And so maybe they think it's arriving on the 19th. There is no flaring, very low level flaring because there are almost no sunspots, just little pinpricks, and I'm sure all the activity is happening as these turn around the limb. So a very quiet sun as we head into the end of summer. And join us at 8 p.m. on Rumble Magnetic Reversal News for our new science show, Science Without Consensus, where we talk about new evidence of the Younger Dryas impact, hot blobs, low shear velocity zones near the, in the mantle, and 2.65 million year old teeth that were recently found. It's gonna be a great show. So join us and support us on Rumble, Magnetic Reversal News, 8 p.m. Mountain Time, coming up in just a bit. And we have a new Starlink offer for you guys. If you're considering the fastest high-speed internet on the planet, well, it's the cheapest price it's ever been. $65 a month for the first year and half off the standard kit. So the kit's only 175 bucks. And then you pay 65 a month for the first year and then 80 bucks a month after that. So great deals for Starlink. Use our link and support the channel and get a great Starlink deal. And that is a boom to knowledge. Please subscribe to the channel. We are trying to get to 100,000 subs uh, as soon as possible. Hit the thumbs up, share this video with like-minded people and be safe. We love you. And we'll see you over on Rumble in just a little bit.